This video shows how to make a Google assignment in Schoology using the Google LTI, uh, the handout that this is referred to as Flavor 3. So under Add Materials, go over here to Google Assignments. That's the Google plugin, the LTI plugin to Schoology. And it verifies which Google account I'm using. So yep, using myschools.net, so that's good. Continue. A new window pops up. Create a Google assignment. Um, so this will create an assignment where I use a Google Doc and each student gets their own as a template and each student gets their own copy. So give it a point total. I'll make this a 10 point assignment. Due date, I could set a due date. Say I'm going to do next Friday. And then I type in a title, type in instructions. Rather than watching me uh, type on the video, I'm going to copy and paste some things. I, I wrote up those in a uh, notepad document, so I'm copying the title. And this was title sample Google assignment, Google LTI example. And then here's the description. You know, these are the same title and description that's in the example in the session two folder, example folder. Okay, so I got my title, got my instructions. I can attach a rubric to it. I can do a plagiarism check using the Google tools. Files, and also files is where I would attach my template. So I'm going to attach a template file. And the one I'm going to just is this online planning a PD template that's in my drive. So I do a search for my template. Yep, there's the one I want. Add it. So it's attached. Notice each student will get a copy. And then if I didn't have one pre-made, I could attach, I mean, I could create on the fly a new doc, a new sheet, a new slide that I wanted to use as my template, but I already have it had it in my drive and attached it that way. And then create. And we wait. And there it is. Sample Google assignment. Google LTI flavor one. If I wanted to edit it, I could change the point total, due date, grading category to make sure it appears in the calendar in my grade book. If I open it, on the teacher side, it looks like this. See my points, see my instructions, see my settings. And then when the student, when student submissions come in, they would all appear right there, and then I could open them up and grade them here. And also notice I can edit the title and instructions there, or pop it out into its own window. So this uses the same interface as was in Google Classroom. So if you use Google Classroom a lot, this will look and feel very familiar to you.